All right, Brent Porcio, topvelocity.net, put together a cool video for you today. Get a lot of questions from the 2006 2007 velocity study by MPA about how they found that 20% of your velocity, only 20% of your overall velocity came from the linear movement. So a lot of people want to just discredit linear movements because only 20% there because the 80% came from rotation or hip to shoulder separation. Now, understand that they got that from a drill, which I'm going to show you of them sitting on their knees and then throwing from their knees. When they did that, they threw 80% of their velocity. So I'm gonna show you how that works. But on top of that, I'm gonna then start to add in the linear movements and you're gonna see how important that velocity is or that 20% is. And then hopefully you get the big picture and you understand how valuable and critical is the linear movements to all of, uh, to pitching velocity. So here we go. We're gonna start first with just my overall velocity. Now, it's not gonna be that impressive. I'm gonna give you the best I got. I'm at almost 40. I uh, haven't been training it at all. So if I can get to 78, 80, I'm doing well. So here goes. Okay. okay. What did I get on the 77. What did I get on the 80. All right, now you saw my overall velocity. So now we're gonna take a velocity on the knee like they did in the MPA study. So you can see what percentage of my velocity is on my knee. All right, in this, these throws, we're gonna look at in a full stride, like I'm just a pitcher who got to a full stride, and then I'm gonna work out of uh, hip to shoulder separation and we're gonna see how hard I'm throwing there. The reason I'm going to then start with in hip to shoulder separation, because that was the point in the study, was when they were on the knee, the hips were open and then they would turn their shoulders against their hips. So when you stand up, I want you to get to the same place, which is full stride, feet straight, the hips open, and then I'm gonna turn my shoulders against my hips so we can get the same thing, but in a full stride, we'll see what happens to the velocity. Seventy-three. All right, now back to where we started with my overall velocity. I'll do it again, but I'm going to add in the ability to start both hips and shoulders closed. So this could fail if I don't land like I was here with hip to shoulder separation. If from a, my full delivery, if I could get my hips through, my hips open, and then counter my shoulders closed. The added momentum and the added leg power hitting front foot and front foot pushing back should give me that last 10% or more of my velocity. Eighty-two. All right, so let's put this all together. So you saw when I was on a knee, I hit 64, yeah, 64. So if I take 82 times eight, which is 80%, 65, I just cleared it out, but 82 times 0.8 is 65.6. I was around 64, 66. If then I, when I stood up, which gave me more ability to flex and extend, more interaction with the ground. I went to about 76, so that I think that's about 90%. So if I take 82 times 0.9, 90% is about 73, 74. You don't have to zoom in. Um, and then when I went through my full delivery and was able to still get my hips open, shoulders closed, added in more ground reaction forces, I hit my full velocity. So here's the point. We can't discredit that, that 20%. That's what gives you that five to 10 or more. For example, if I'm gonna throw 95, I'm gonna to have to be, if you do the math, 76 on a knee. And I'm gonna to have to pick up 20 miles an hour more almost, all the way up to my full delivery, where I have to accomplish not only more ground reaction forces, but more hip to shoulder separation to pick up that another 20 miles an hour. So that's the point here. Yeah, you can sit down there all day and try to get to 76, 
doesn't mean you're gonna have the ability to pick up the other 20 miles an hour, which is that 20%, which is the linear energy that we're discrediting, which is really critical because that's probably your last 10 to 20 that you need to increase to become a high velocity pitcher. 